Do you think that the universe had a beginning? I don't know. I would, you don't know. I would suspect yes. You suspect yes. Yeah, sure. How did the writers of the book of Genesis know that? I have no idea. It could, I mean, if I'm, going to be, they guessed? if I'm going to be cynical about this, if they did guess, it would be a 50-50 guess. And I also think that if we had scientific... Would it be a 50-50 guess? Yeah, because, and it might even be worse than that for you, because if we had uh, some kind of scientific popular hypothesis, because, of course, the Big Bang might not have been the beginning of everything, who knows, right? But, like, whatever the popular scientific hypothesis is, if it were pointing to an infinite universe, for example, as Einstein thought we lived in, and I'm sure that people would open Genesis, they would say that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, uh, and, and say that the earth just means the earth itself, right? Like, I, I think it would be equally easily interpretable on either, on either account. All right. So, one of my professors at Dartmouth was Robert Jastrow, uh, head of the Mount Wilson Laboratory, one of the great astronomers of the 20th century. Sure. So Jastrow writes in his book, God and the Astronomers, that for 250 years, modern science has been attempting to discover whether the universe had a beginning. Mm -hmm. And you can think of these scientists as, as ascending a very tall mountain in which there are many pathways. And, and, and for many years, uh, with the steady state hypothesis and so on, there were beliefs that the universe was eternal, it never had a beginning. In fact, that was the prevailing point of view. And then Jastrow argues it's almost as if we reached the top of the mountain and there was a bunch of Hebrew prophets or theologians sitting there who hadn't been there from the beginning. So I'm describing now a skeptic, a true skeptic, and a true scientist describing the scientific shock that attends to a discovery that, and I think it is out of the spirit of that discovery for you to go, oh yeah, I mean, it could have been this, it's like tossing yeah, a coin. It isn't like tossing a coin. This is a question that's been argued for two centuries and only resolved sure. in the last several decades uh, and resolved decisively in one side and the other. And the fact that you're not willing to just straight out say, yeah, it is actually an astounding fact that we now know. No, no, no. no. In, uh, I mean, look, the, the, the scientific method has also revealed to us that the Earth was formed about four and a half billion years ago. That is much later than the sun. The, Gossip, the, the Old Testament account, the Hebrew Bible account, tells us that it was the other way around. So it got that bit wrong. All right, so, 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 so we're, yes, the Bible is not. So is, sometimes it, it gets things right, no, no, no. sometimes it gets things wrong, you know? The, the, the Bible is not it's a not science, that it's me. not listing out a scientific. Well, well, now hold on a second, you can't now move the goalposts, especially if you're still going to, especially if you're still going to miss. The, the, or, the, 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 the issue, so. well, well, the, no, the issue the, of, the, of the origin of the universe is you extremely just told me, critical. You just told me that Genesis predicted or knew about or somehow knew about the scientific hypothesis of the origin of the universe. Then when I pointed out another scientific observation that doesn't accord with Genesis, you tell me that Genesis isn't a scientific text to begin with. Well, if you, if you, read, if you read Genesis, it is making a astounding claim, which pertains to God. Obviously, God created the is heavens and the Is it making a earth. scientific claim or not? Is it telling us how the universe scientifically formed or not? The, the, it's not telling us how the universe scientifically formed, because if it did, they would be outlining the history of the Big Bang. Then what's Bang. the relevance of bringing this up in the first place? Because, because it is stating a conclusion, not a process. It's not telling you how the universe was formed. Right. It's it, not it telling you tell us, about... It also doesn't tell us how the sun was formed, but it tells us that it was formed after the earth was. It, it, it tells us that that's the case. That's wrong. It's incorrect. Uh, show me. Well, I, don't have a, I don't have a Bible. Okay. Yet, well, I've read that passage maybe a dozen times. I have never s spotted this contradiction that you're describing. But I'll go back and look at it again. Right. But, but, but again... Well, on, on what day uh, is it that, that God makes the, the, the sun? And day, day four? Is day three or day four? Something around there? You're right. But, but, when, when's but light, when's the light mainstream created? of the Christian tradition does... It, when's the it obviously the can't created? be day four because... Because the concept of day in, in, the, in the original Hebrew doesn't mean day. Sure, but the day four comes after day one, right? How well, long, it's, 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 describing, it's describing obviously epochs or, or, or periods. Yeah, yes. so, so, so actually it's much worse because now the sun is created much, much, much later than the earth was. Well, not necessarily. Um, well, show me. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we can, oh, we, can, okay. we can read through that. We can find Genesis. Yeah, okay. like, I don't think, I don't know um, if that would be the best, best use of our time. I mean, we can do it if you really want to, but what I'm trying to say is that like, it's not astonishing. Let's move on. Let's not, move on. It, why not? Um, it's not astonishing to me that the, that like, if you, 
if you're making claims about the origin of the universe, especially in the case where if it was, if, if, if it is making a specific hy uh, claim in the knowledge that there's a sort of infinite hypothesis and a beginning hypothesis, to take a 50-50 stab, it's not amazing to me. It would be more amazing to me if, if everything lined up and it, and it gave us a, an otherwise unknowable historical scientific account of the beginning of the universe. But as you say, that's not even what Genesis is trying to do. So I, I don't, I'm, in other I'm words, not, I don't understand how this yeah, even I'm not saying that Genesis is trying to unfurl a, I'm saying that Genesis is making a statement about creation and the statement about creation has a very startling uh, scientific implication. Because if there was a creation, then there obviously wasn't something, sure. and then there was something. But you know, I mean, it's not just science which can tell us that the, the universe had a beginning. I mean, like, there are lots of philosophical arguments that people have made, um, perhaps most famously Al-Ghazali, uh, who argues against, uh, for the impossibility of a past infinite universe, and I yeah, think does course. so quite convincingly, with no reference to red shifting and no reference of to course. scientific hypotheses. So it's, it's perfectly possible for somebody to, to take a pretty uh, studious and educated guess at the fact that the universe had a beginning long before the scientific method told us that that was the case. I, I'm not saying that it's not possible to make philosophical arguments. And of course, as you know, there was a tradition in ancient Greece of making philosophical arguments sure. all over the so place. Maybe, so maybe that's why the, the, let me, the, let me, the let me keep the going. Gospel, uh, it's my time. Let me, let me, that that let me pose questions. I'm, just, well, I'm trying to answer your question. Maybe, maybe if you ask me how would they know, isn't this astounding? I would say, well, maybe they just had a, had a philosophical tradition that, that taught the beginning of the universe, and that's where they got it from. 